beginner betters only if you're not a beginner and you already know what you're doing this is not the video for you but if you just started or if you never placed a bet before or if you've already been betting and you honestly can say to yourself you don't know what the fuck you're doing this is the video series for you i'm really rico you already know let's get this dough how much you need and how i got started i put that for a purpose listen you need 100 to 200 units what's a unit a unit is the amount that you're gonna play you're gonna bet on every single bet no matter if it's a straight bet a parlay no matter what that's your unit size for example if you have 500 dollars your unit size is five bucks that's 100 units you take your bank roll and you divide it by 100 i suggest you have 100 to 200 units we'll get into that but this is why i mean this is what you need 100 to 200 units i don't care if you have a thousand dollars five hundred dollars or a hundred dollars you divide that bitch by 100 that's how many units you have i don't suggest you start off with a five dollar unit I don't suggest you even start off with the $500 bankroll. I suggest you start off with as little as possible. The goal is to create a $500 bankroll so you can bet normally. I'll tell you the difference in a moment. So I say don't, I don't suggest you start with a $500 bankroll because if you're a beginner, you need to understand that bitch. You about to lose whatever you deposit. Let me say that again. I don't suggest you start off with a $500 bank roll because if you're a beginner, I need you to understand whatever you deposit, you need to be prepared to lose that bitch. Whatever you deposit, you need to be fully prepared to lose the whole entire bomb. Know what I mean? So if you have very little money, there's a ton of different ways to get a bank roll started. And that's what I did. I got a bank roll started. I didn't start with a bank roll. I got a bank roll started and there's a ton of different ways you can do it. How I did it was I signed up with all of the sites and then shared my links everywhere. Also, I created content hoping to get monetized and make and that whatever I get paid for my content be my bank roll. That's how I grew my bank roll. And I know everybody doesn't create content or don't plan to create content, but you don't have to. You can still share your shit everywhere you share your bets. Most notably is twitter everybody starts on twitter anybody can share their links on twitter and get some extra um sign ups to get a bankroll started but you're gonna start a bankroll with nothing but you need to understand if you're gonna start a bankroll with nothing you're gonna have to add to it at some point no matter if it's 10 bucks 5 bucks 20 bucks 30 bucks the goal is to get the 500 dollars so we can make real bets and build manage the bankroll to continue to uh do this shit long term you need 100 units, 100 to 200 units. Do not deposit $200 in the prize pits and I think you about to play $5 slips, $5 five-man parlays, or six-pick entries. That shit's gone. Don't do it. You know what I mean? <coughs> and second, the second session, I'm trying to just do one or two sessions each time, and this is going to be a running note list, so if you have any questions, or have any topics that you want to be covered as a beginner better leave those bitches in the comments there are no dumb questions uh questions ask whatever the hell you want because no one did this for me and i'm doing this because a bitch didn't do that to me i wanted somebody to break this shit down like i'm gonna do it for you all right in the next session you can see here is what to play and where now for those of you who do not have a bankroll if you don't have any money period the best places to start to play is where you can get free free money to play obviously so um obviously if you want to start with free money or if you have little money to start with when you deposit you want to get deposit bonuses for any money that you deposit for all money you deposit you want to make sure you get a deposit bonus and depending where you are you're going to be limited to play only on certain books i'm in florida is one of the worst place one of the worst places to jump into this <laughs> To jump into sports betting but it can be done and i'm an example of it so look what to play and where to play beginning betters where to play with no money the only place that i know of is dabble to start off with zero dollars now now if you download dabble and you use code rico 
They're going to give you $10 or $25 to play with just to sign up. You do not have to make a deposit, but I don't suggest you just hop right in and start selecting plays because trust me, I don't care if you've been watching sports for 40 years. When it comes to betting on sports, you don't know shit. That's the point of me creating this series. Get it? So where to play for me, our first place to play is going to be on Dabble because Dabble will give you free cash to play with just by using code RICO when you sign up. Don't deposit shit yet. Do not deposit shit yet. Why? You don't know what the fuck you're doing. I don't even care if you have $500. Go get the free money and so you can get your, get your feet wet to see if that shit is for you. I say this because you're going to lose. Like, lose the free money. For, you're going to lose. I guarantee you lose. <laughs> the point of this is showing you that you can win enough to provide a positive return on investment. We'll get into that. Don't let me confuse you. Where to play and what to play. I told you we would start on Dabble or any place that will give you free money to start. I have other places that will give you 100% deposit bonuses when we get there. But don't deposit your fucking money, bro. If you're just starting, this is your first time, you've never placed a bet, do not deposit your fucking money. Go to Dabble. Use code RICO. Get the free $10 to $25. I don't even know what it is by the time you watch this video, but that's what I would start with. And what we're going to play, there's a, diff a number of different bets you can make. The first is player props. A player prop is basically, will LeBron James go over or under eight rebounds? That's a player prop. A straight bet is Lakers versus the OKC Thunder. Who's going to win? That's your straight bet. Lakers versus OKC Thunder. Who's going to win? What team is going to win in the end? That's a straight bet. A spread is OKC Thunder minus nine. That means the Oklahoma City Thunder need to cover that spread. They have to win by more than nine points. If they win by nine, it's a push. The Lakers, to cover that spread, need to lose by less than nine points. I hope that makes sense. So here's a crude example. If I take Lakers plus nine in the final score, it's 100 Lakers and the OKC Thunder have 110. I lost because I had plus nine. So the OKC Thunder covered their spread. So when you see those numbers, when you see, for example, tonight it's Lakers minus six and a half against Toronto. The Lakers need to win by seven to cover the spread. All right. And then you have the totals. A total bet is the sum of the both team score. Okay, the total of both teams score, for example, the Lakers and the Raptors tonight, their total score is 235 and a half. You could bet the over 235 and a half or under 235 and a half. That half is what we, what we call a hook. You can't score a half point, but that's the hook. We need that. We like that. We like the hook in most cases, but we'll I'll explain that later. And then <clears throat> the odds favorites and underdogs all sports books and daily fantasy sites set their own odds in their lines independently this is uh, awesome for us this is this is absolutely incredible this is the only way we are able to find profitable bets to beat the books in the end okay so as far as the odds, the favorites, and the underdogs go, you need to understand just this. Lakers, <laughs> listen, Lakers money line, Lakers to win outright. A money line bet is a straight bet. I should have said that. So Lakers versus Toronto, that's a straight bet. The money line is to play on that straight bet. So if it's Lakers money line minus 300, they are a heavy favorite to win the game. If Toronto money line is plus 300 they are a heavy underdog to lose the game but if you bet on toronto to win the game outright 100 dollars pays plus 300 but if you bet on the lakers to win the game outright you need to bet 300 dollars to win 100 so when you see the line lakers minus 300 they are heavily favored to win the game outright you know what i mean if, 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 if you have, I don't know, Jaden Daniels to go over 27 passing attempts and is minus 140, it's slightly favored to go over 27 passing attempts. When we get to look at the lines, I'll talk about that a lot more. But for now, that's what 
you should know, okay? We talked about player props, straights, spreads, totals, odds, favorites, and underdogs. Now listen, I'm trying to keep these videos as short as possible. I've covered more than enough for a beginner better to have some questions. Put those questions in the comments. I'll cover them, I'll add them to this running list, and we'll get to that, all right? Don't deposit your money anywhere if you're somebody who's watching this video and, he, and you've never placed a bet before. You go to Dabble, you use code RICO, you get that free cash lined up. And if, you, and if, you, if you're still up, you catch me on live and I show you, you watch a little bit of what we've done. If not, you wait to the next fucking beginner better video, session two. I'm really RICO, you already know. Let's get this dope, bruh. Peace. I'm out.